clip yeah it's been it's been a while today is monday may 2nd your girl really been just planning and getting her life together um especially like since it's a new month um i did a little bit yesterday but i just went full force today and i'm feeling really good feeling very excited you guys know as i told you in my last vlog that i was just not really as motivated as i would like to be and you know i just kind of been slack but now becoming full force baby okay so that means i'm literally about to be pushing out content 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 on all platforms so right now i'm about to fold some clothes and then i'm actually going to kind of go through my closet i'm not, i'm about to purge just a little bit not too much but just a little bit do a little bit of spring cleaning my closet just really to me personally don't make sense right now and i just need to do something different so i'm gonna fold all these clothes i've been super horrible with like doing laundry like i've literally been letting it build up build up and then i like wash a little bit but i don't really wash all the loads so that's what I'm doing today like trying to wash all the loads and then I'm prepping for my video tomorrow um I'm hoping to do like a spring capsule wardrobe and then I think I'm gonna look a little bit in my office just to see what other things I can do to create like videos with because I really bought some clothes at the beginning of this year and I don't know where it's at but I know I moved so that was just that so yeah that's what I'm gonna do we're gonna fold clothes I'm about to just watch YouTube here and um i probably will meet y'all in the closet the light is looking really crazy all right so i'm in my closet right now this is my main closet i'm gonna give you a quick quick overview if you watch some of my moving vlogs then you will have like seen a lot of this but at the end of the day like this was nowhere near done i literally just put it up and then that's that and it's just like Mm, girl i gotta do something different okay so let me we're gonna do some spring cleaning and we're gonna get it all here so this is just how just an overview of the closet this is how it looks girl what is this what <laughs> what is that <laughs> i got pillows up there i have like uh sheets up there i was trying to do like a color coordination type thing it never works out for me i just ugh. I don't know and up in the like cubby holes type thing i was just doing sweats and honestly girl like i said i've just been super lazy um and not motivated so i just be like once i wash them i just throw them up there but now that it's spring i'm not gonna use these sweats anymore so they has to go i'm gonna leave them for right now i don't know because i need to take my bins out of my storage area um my summer and spring bins, and we're gonna kind of like do something different with this as well i'm thinking that i'm gonna put my jeans and like these little cubby holes like because they just don't need to be right there like right there some of these things i can keep some of these things i probably wouldn't because we still have that transitional weather i do like these like type of like shirts here they're super easy to like just throw something on with um and i love just like the like the look that it like gives me so i'm thinking because i can still utilize these in the spring that i'm gonna keep these even this one ooh, lord 
even this right here um i love the way like this look even though it's not flattering on my chest because your girl don't fill them out but i just love this right here so i'm gonna keep these right here all right let's see i ain't really feeling this top anymore like this like this was a work top i'm not feeling it anymore so i think i'm going to take this i don't know i think i'm going to because it was cute but i'm just gonna like um put this to the side because i'm not feeling that like that anymore this is cute this is cute i can see myself wearing this like you can never have any like too many of these type of tops so i'm gonna keep this i love me a white button up top i just got a few from h&m this one is a little bit i would say short but sorry you guys if you can't see me Y'all, I'm looking real rough right now, but I'm about to do my hair later on so we can look better. But sorry if you can't see me. But anyway, so like this one is like short. I don't, I really like oversized, but we gonna, we gonna keep this and make this work. Um, same with these. These are like these crop tops like that I got from Naked Wardrobe. So, gonna keep those. Definitely, definitely. This is like my favorite like top ever like i love love this oh it's so gorgeous this one right here i'm not gonna go through all of these but i don't know like i like this one as well so yeah we're gonna keep that crop tops are a must i never wear this anymore like i love this i never wear it so let's get rid of that so i'm gonna just put this like to the side Cause it's a turtleneck like why do we need this we need to make room for other stuff same for this this is a crop top but it has like a little turtleneck um on it and i still think this is okay like it's still a crop top it's thin it's not that thin but it's definitely thin and maybe on like some breezy nights maybe so i like this i didn't like it it wasn't given what it was supposed to be given oh it is literally hot I don't know. I don't know about this. This is from Zara. I kept it, but are we wearing like this could be like it could be a moment. But are we wearing red? Like, I don't like to wear red in the spring. The spring or the summer. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, it may look orange on camera, but it's actually like bright red. Like, are we keeping this? Like, I'm going to keep it, yes, for sure. But like, I just don't see it. It has more of like a thicker, kind of like knit texture. It's giving me more fall. You know what I mean? Like, I don't see myself wearing red like right now. Like these right here, like I just feel like because they're longer sleeve, like I just don't, maybe I could wear these at nighttime for like spring, but definitely not summer. Um, but yeah. like jeans and these used to be my favorite jeans like i'm not gonna lie i don't wear these anymore or haven't even tried to because i don't like the way they stop on me but i'm gonna see if i like them or not i haven't worn which is so crazy white jeans in a very long time i don't even know if these fit i gave away a lot of jeans last time what is these these are 6L. I cannot fit these. I've been trying my whole life since I got those jeans to <laughs> get in them and I cannot. What is this? Oh, so these are from Zara. Zara. Do I like Zara? I'm gonna actually just put this over here. I'm just gonna put my jeans in here. I feel like it may not make sense right now, but 
we'll see. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the blazers um because i don't me having those blazers like he's just taking up space because i know for a fact that i'm not going to um wear some of those colors because they're fall colors you know what i mean so might as well so might as well just go ahead and put them into the fall bin okay I know this is a fall color, but this blazer is very lightweight and I see I can and I feel like I can just throw this over my shoulder. So I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna look at this and see how this look because I may not even like like this. It's not giving me you know, what I'm looking for. But we can still keep it this one as well like this one right here like it's an oversized blazer and again it may be given like fall but i can definitely see like a moment where i put like you know a pop of color like a yellow or you know like a hot pink or something with it like for example like you see that type of moment baby like look at that obviously not this particular shirt but i'm just saying like if i had a yellow like set or something like that is super cute and that definitely is like a nice spring fit all these here like all this right here fall i'm gonna do this section and then I'm going to finish this one and that section. And then all those up there just literally have to go anyway because they're just sweatpants. And honestly, like, nobody's trying to be burning up. But this is how this looks. And then that right there is just all of my undergarments, uh, sports bras, bras, uh, tank tops, and then, like, bathing suits. I'm going to go through that another day because, baby, I'm already tired. Y'all, I purchased these skins. I haven't even opened it. That's crazy. I purchased their, I don't know what it's called, but this, oh, this one is cool. Their body suits. I got this in a size medium. It fits, but I don't know. I don't like the way it fits on me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Mm -mm. But, oh my God, it stinks. Probably because I literally purchased that like, Whenever, like when they first dropped it, that was like a few months ago and it's been in that bag ever since. after 10 o'clock in the morning i'm about to relax my hair i usually get my hair professionally relaxed but i haven't had time i haven't had my hair relaxed since like december like the end of december so it's been a little while and i really need my hair and i really need to relax <laughs> my hair so i'm just gonna do do it myself i don't want to hear it okay you know you don't have to do it to your hair but i'm gonna do it to my hair and we're gonna see if you are interested i'm just gonna show you if you're not you can go ahead and skip over this part it's always this battle between girls who are natural and who are relaxed and it's just like girl but anyway so i have the ors olive oil box relaxer here this is normal for fine to medium hair textures i would say that my hair is like medium texture i will say it's like it can be thick if you want to say it but um i definitely wanted to do normal and not anything too much because um i can't remember the last time i actually relaxed my hair honestly um it had to be in like grade school 
I also have 100% pure petroleum jelly, which is a skin protectant. This is what I'm using. Probably can't see it because the thing is not, you know, focused. And then in the relaxer box, oh, before that, I have this applicator brush right here that I got from the, my local beauty supply store. And then in the applicator box, you already know, you get the No Lie Hair Relaxer Base. You get the activator here, probably can't see. And then this is also a exotic oil boost stimulant that you also put in the base. And then you get the neutralizing shampoo, conditioner, and then also some oil moisturizer, hair lotion, you get a spatula, and then you get two gloves, and it requires for like a shower cap or whatever the case may be. But um, I'm just gonna use a plastic bag because I don't have a shower cap. The first thing I'm gonna do is take this petroleum jelly and then I'm just going to base my hairline because those are the most sensitive areas. And I'm going to focus a little bit of extra on the areas that um, I need like a little bit more TLC. So I'm going to take each individual like section and I have some hot spots in my hair <laughs> my scalp if you want to call it so I'm going to base that because these are like especially on this side these are literally my hot spots but I also do this side last. Now, I don't think this is like recommended. Like, I mean, I know I see my stylist, like she has a protectant that she put like literally all over my hair. So it's not recommended, like when I read the instructions, but it just says like, if you have like a sensitive scalp, go ahead and do that. So I'm literally just parting my hair and literally just putting the protectant all throughout my hair. Okay, so I just changed into this little, I don't know what this is, little tank top, whatever, because um, I was getting hot. So it says let it sit for five minutes before putting in your hair, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let it sit and then I'm gonna stir it again. It's very hard to mix. It says mix until it's like smooth and creamy like you know smooth and consistent in color it's definitely consistent in color i see a little bit of lumps but i don't really know if that like matters or not so we're gonna start from up here and then work our way down up here work our way down and then we're gonna do up here ladies leave your man at home because the club is jumping jumping all right and then we're gonna get started <laughs> okay so again we're gonna start from this section and then work our way down. It's not that I don't want you here. It's something about the way you stare too much. I know that I don't make things clear. I fall for you every time I try to resist. I'm just bitch fuels in an every day All I wanna hear is an every since I play Sitting right next to you, you I try not to show how I feel about you Think I wish you were the only one I wanna Y'all, so <laughs> I just got to I relaxed my hair Put some of this conditioner on it But yeah, this is how it looks It's giving text lax if you see this right here, <laughs> put the conditioner on. The package said let it sit for like 45 minutes to an hour if you're using it without heat, but I'm not gonna let it sit that long um, because I don't have that time. But I am going to, you're supposed to put like a plastic cap over. It doesn't look all the way um, relaxed, but like I said, for the most part, 
I did a pretty good job. I did what I could at the, it was a moment. <laughs> it was literally a moment where I literally thought I was about to tap out, girl. I was like, I don't know if it's working. I don't want to over process my hair, you know. Anyway, I'm about to get into the shower and then I'll talk to you guys maybe a little bit later, maybe after I finish blow drying my hair. I don't know. Hello everybody. Um today is Saturday, um May 7th. I'm about to take Zane to the vet. Look at him. He's having a time of his life out the window. My battery is going dead, so I'm gonna change it like whenever I get to the vet because we have to be there at 10. Sorry, it's loud. I got the windows down. Um, I got on my Lord Vase. Okay, baby. But um, we have to be there at 10 and in seven minutes. I will literally arrive there right at 10. Zany. Hey, Zany. He's <laughs> so cute. All right, y'all. So don't mind those boxes in the back like i gotta get my life together and i'm gonna talk to y'all about that soon but like your girl looking good with these lorvets on and, uh, hmm. all right i'm at the gas station i'm about to get gas and then i'm going to run just a few not a lot but a few errands so just one moment Y'all, what the hell is wrong? <laughs> Y'all, oh my gosh. I'm so freaking crazy. Literally was on the wrong side. My tank is on this side. I feel embarrassed. I got out and everything. <laughs> Let me get gas for real. Right now I'm about to head to Harris Teeter. You probably can't see me, sorry. Um, and I'm gonna see what they have when it comes to like some flower arrangements. Um, my parents are coming up tomorrow for Mother's Day. I know this will not be um, uploaded on Mother's Day, but happy Mother's Day to all the beautiful moms out there. Um, I'm thinking about doing like a Starbucks like type of giveaway. I don't even know if Starbucks is gonna be open tomorrow. I mean, maybe it will be, I don't know. But I'm thinking about doing a Starbucks giveaway on my, um, on my instagram think about that is like people be really taking advantage of it like i'm not gonna lie like that's what really just be mm, like you cannot do anything nice for people because they literally take advantage of that i remember doing it one time i think i put like a hundred dollars on that card people getting whole meals but once it ran out girl people were using my rewards so if i wouldn't have like continuously checked the card so i can let people know like hey it's done you know don't like waste your time or whatever then <laughs> my rewards would have been like gone they're getting the most largest drink ever some people get meals some people get, i've seen people get two drinks and a meal it's just like i get it but i don't get it like you're taking from other people so that's why i'd I be like eh, i don't know if i want to do it or not um okay so i'm going to uh i'm about to go in here and i'll talk to you in just a little bit all right y'all i'm back i got the goods honestly that was just such an expensive experience this is what i got Y'all, I literally spent too much money in Harris Teeter. Like, it's not even funny. I spent like $140 or whatever just on like, I mean, I did uh, do get a gift card and then the flowers were literally like 20 to $25 a piece. And it's just like, it don't make no damn sense because like, it don't even come with a vase. I should have went to Trader Joe's, but honestly, it was already in the area, but I should have went to Trader's because Trader's do not play. Like these little, I don't know what these are called, they was five dollars and they literally like a stem like the hell at traders i would have got a bunch like, you coming out okay she's not coming out but i'm just about to like chill for the rest of the day that's really it yeah you all